Have you ever had the need to represent your Salesforce data in a manner that not only appeals to your customer, but also adds on to the general user experience? Well, look no further because now we can achieve this using LWC and Chart.js. Before getting started with Chart.js, let's check some of the prerequisites. First of all, we will need a developer sandbox. We will need to download Chart.js version 2.7.3, which is a stable version of Chart.js that I am uh, using right now. And we can optionally use LWC Editor, which is a Chrome extension, and uh, we can get this from the Chrome Web Store. But if you don't want to use it, then you can go ahead and use VS Code instead. Now let's look at why we should use Chart.js. First of all, it's an open source JavaScript library. And since it's purely JavaScript, it goes well with LWC. It also provides 10 types of different charts, which is more than the number of charts available in Salesforce dashboards. It is also responsive and goes well with mobile apps. And it's highly customizable, which means it can be tweaked according to your needs. Let's have a look at the different types of charts that are available with Chart.js as compared to the standard charts which are available in Salesforce dashboards. As you can see, the ones marked in bold text are only available in Chart.js. Now, let's refer to this problem statement and create a demo chart. As per the requirement, we need to create a bar chart to show the number of employees working in each account's industry. So let's get started. Now please go ahead and create a new class called account controller. This class will contain the logic to our bar chart. First of all, we need to create a wrapper class to store our x-axis and y-axis parameters. We're passing industry name in our x-axis and total number of employees in our y-axis. The logic behind creating the chart works on aggregated results. Hence, uh, we have used the sum function in here to return the total number of employees in each industry. Thereafter, we are just iterating over the query results and storing the data in our wrapper list in order to return the list of wrapper data in our LWC. Before creating your LWC, you need to make sure that you have added the chart.js as your static resource in your developer sandbox okay so make sure that it is added as a static resource now you can go ahead and create a new LWC called demo bar chart 
and write the following HTML. As you can see, we have used a simple lightning card component to store our chart and we have used the canvas tag to show our bar chart and in here we have used the LWC DOM attribute in order to allow the canvas scripting API to modify the DOM. Now let's move on to our JS file and write the code. Now let me explain to you the code that we have written. First of all, we need to import the load script function which will help us to load the static resource for chart.js. Secondly, we need to import our apex method. And finally, we need to import the chart.js library from the static resource. The first thing we need to do when creating our chart is to create the config object. This object will contain the uh, information which will be used to create the chart. After we have created the config object, then we can create the rendered callback method and in here we can use load script to load our chart JS. In here, as you can see, we are using the query selector method to fetch our bar chart component. And here, we are creating a new instance of the chart and we are adding the uh, component as well as the config object as parameters. Now, one of the most important methods in our code is the update chart function. This function will contain three parameters x-axis, y-axis and the key. So we will use this method inside an iterator and every time we will iterate over the results which we will receive from our apex method we will check the x-axis and y-axis and we will pass those values inside the label and the data set of our chart. The label will contain the x-axis parameters and the data set will push the y-axis parameters along with certain background colors that we will be passing. The background colors which will be used to represent each bar inside the bar chart will be held in this array and I have already a set of background colors uh, for use so you can go ahead and copy these colors and proceed now let's move on to our final method which is our wire method as you can see we have used the apex method inside the wire and here we are fetching the results in this line we are checking that if any row returned in our result is blank if it is blank, it will be kept out of the data array. And then we are iterating over the list of results which we are receiving from the backend and we are passing each of the values for x-axis and y-axis into our update chart method which will in turn update the chart instance. Now that we have created an instance of our chart, Let's go ahead and create a new lightning page 
and let's drop our LWC component into this page to check out our chart. So now as you can see we have created a brand new bar chart using chart.js and LWC and in this bar chart you can see that each bar will represent the number of employees in each industry. Similarly I have created many charts uh, for testing purposes such as a polar chart, radar chart, horizontal bar chart, pie chart, donut chart, and of course the basic bar chart. So you can go ahead and try out the charts uh, by yourself. Uh, I have also added uh, my GitHub repository in the description box so that you can have a look at the code. Thank you so much for attending this video. If you like this video then please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and if you have any queries then please leave your message in the comment section below.